Hey everybody, Shark Scrapper here. I'm on a mission to get stuff like that out of the trash and into a resale, reuse, or recycle stream. It's a nice find to start the day off. Ugh. That's got the potential to be heavy because One, it's got water in it. Get the water out of it. Now there's a grill right up there, so I'm just gonna leave the gate down and pull up to that grill. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, waste no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind. Hey, you're a big one. Regulators are good for breakage. You can also bust into them yourself if you are so inclined and get out the separate the brassy bits. All right. I want to go like this because then I want to spin you around after I get you behind the refrigerator or the little freezer. <clears throat> Sometimes these things don't like to cooperate. The wheels get caught up in the... In the threads. And then they break. When they break, they get very uncooperative. <clears throat> All right. We also saw right over here Some sort of metal garden frame thing. Hmm. 
you belong in in there I'm gonna get this tied down. You all don't need to see me tie stuff. You've seen me tie stuff many times. Oh, and I'm gonna get that weed eater thingy. Morning, how you doing? Mind if I get some of your metal to recycle? TV is not going to happen. <sighs> Get that aluminum separated. Aluminum, and then this stuff can just go in that big old freezer. Help reduce the weight a little bit, anyway. drawer keeps coming out. That's annoying. Let's get the snips. Probably didn't need the snips. It looks like it was just a plug connection. Got to decide now. I want to take this back to the cage and work on it or if it's just going the way it is. Uh, no yellow bin here. So what they didn't have a yellow bin out here. Oh, okay. I'll never get that TV. Yeah, it's broke. It's broke. Later on, man. Have a good one. Well, I really ought to see if I can't get that stood up. The weight balance is kind of weird on it. Mm. 
trampoline. All right, now. Nah, too light for a battery to be in there. Whew. I'll cut that end off of there at some point. Get cord. I don't need the big screen. Empty box. Empty box. A lot of empty boxes there. All right, we have a fan there, and we have some cordage around here. I'm going to go ahead and stop the vehicle while we gather this stuff up. food you're hiding we don't want the bulk waste guys to miss you that would be not good for those people We'll be back for you in a minute, fan. I won. We got to do something about that. Oh, man. Those are seriously tough. Blades on that bad boy. Nothing in there. Spray bottle. This is Shark wanted a spray bottle. But none of those are the bottles for that sprayer. Huh. There is some sort of cleaning stuff going on there. All right. Yeah, those are some seriously heavy-duty fans. I want because they have these can go in with the bulk because of the way they broke. The 
rest of this can all come with me, including you, you little screw. That's going to be some pharaohs. Okay. Load it up. Can you believe that we already have $718 in the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project 2 for 22? Man, that is great. Plus, we have 98 bucks for the Ukrainian Relief Fund. So we are doing great. And it is because of all of you all, uh, the folks that have become patrons on the Shark Scrapper Patreon page. Roger Adams, that's CU Scrapping. Jay Wilson, Elliot Teeters. Andrew Merskel, Chris at Board Sort, Laura Furches and Ulrich and Buck Strickland. Thank you all very much. Plus, those of you that continue to donate through the PayPal site, Barry West. I mean, Barry, you're kicking butt, man. Thank you. And our all-time lead so far is Nick Burns. He sent an old-fashioned check worth 500 bucks, and I'm happy to match that. Plus, a check from J.R. Uh, Cat. Hey everybody, I really appreciate all of the donations and as you've seen, we are putting it to great work with the University of Miami's Shark Research and Conservation Program. Well, this load was a pretty good load, all things considered. Uh, we kind of got the, the uh, shark mobile pretty filled up pretty fast, but <clears throat> we got a lot of weight in here. This is 500 pounds of shred. Now they're going for 9.85 cents a pound, so the price went down a little bit. So this is a $49.25 load. Okay, I am not going to leave the freezer unit here. That's going to go back to the shark cage because we want to get the sealed unit off of that. Uh, so we'll just dump out all the metal that I was loading up inside there. Uh, and then tie that back in the cage. And I want to jump real quick to, you know, I mean, <laughs> I did not intend to, I did not do this on purpose. All right, we're going to, let me set the stage. I get the grill out, and then I'm going to get the lid for the freezer out. And look what I ended up doing. Oh, got that one. Got the glass on that one. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And the two links are going to take you to more street scrapping fun. Plus, the little round one in the middle is to help you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode of The Shark Scrapper. Have a great day, everybody.